Hello everyone, welcome back to my Minecraft 1.19 Let's Play Survival series. My name's Sam, and today I only have one thing on my mind. That's right, frogs. This episode is going to be all about our amphibian friends. Adding frogs into our little world up here would be fantastic, and we would get access to frog lights, and I just think they're cute and it would be an all around great time. But I thought I'd first introduce you to a couple of new friends from a stream that I did recently. One, we finally have a horse. This beautiful brown uh, horsey is called Boots. And we also have this very slow pig with a saddle sitting in here with our donkeys. And finally, over by the potion brewing hut, house, cottage, we have a goat. This guy just wandered out of the forest as I was working on the paths, and so I kind of had to grab him, I guess, and now we're best friends, aren't we? So with those new introductions out of the way, let's get to getting frogs. But yeah, I hope you've been doing well. I hope you enjoyed the last episode. I can't believe we are now at episode 10. When I started this series, I thought, oh yeah, we'll just give it a go. I'm sure maybe two or three people will watch it, but I can't believe we're almost at 800 subscribers as I'm recording this, which is absolutely wild. I thought that I would not really get past maybe 100 if that, so I'm just shocked and amazed that people seem to find the channel and like it, and I'm very grateful and I'm glad that I can provide you with a little piece of entertainment for your day. Okay, we've made it to the village next to our mangrove swamp. Hopefully there are some froggy friends floating around. I have a few leads, so if we do find some frogs, it shouldn't be too hard to get them to come back home with us. And from memory, the frogs in this area are white as well, so that should help. We should be able to sort of see them, I guess, against the backdrop of all of this green and brown, hopefully. I'm in the jungle, so that's not going to help. Oh, some bees. Not really frogs though, are they? Oh, I thought we found one, but it's just a white sheep. Hello, frogs. I can't even remember what the sound is, so I don't even know what sound I'm listening out for. I imagine some sort of croaking or ribbiting. Oh, what was that? I think I heard a parrot. So with frogs, hopefully we can get the frog lights, which will be, I think, a good choice to decorate our paths because we haven't really done much with our paths and we also need to work on lighting up the area around the base as well. So I think with frog lights, we'll definitely be able to make some nice looking lamp posts and do some hidden lighting and things like that. Yeah, as long as we can find some frogs. Oh, maybe they've fallen down here. That wouldn't be good. Oh, tropical fish. No, not what we're looking for. Have you seen any frogs? Oh, but this is a swamp, which is important because we will need slime balls at some point. So I'm glad that we have a swamp nearby. Oh, I hope none of our frog friends have made it into the lava. This mangrove swamp is not very big, is it? Unfortunately. Oh, there's the enderman. Sorry, I'm not looking, I promise. Oh no, it's getting dark. I guess it's turning night and we haven't had any luck with frogs. We might as well see how we go with slimes over here in the swamp. Oh, someone's shooting at me. Please don't. Oh, there's our skeleton friend. Yes, hello. Be gone. Oh, doesn't the slime depend on the moon? I don't know if that's a good moon for slime, to be honest. Maybe tonight is not a slime night. We'll just sleep up here on the dirt pillar. I'm sure that will be fine. Unfortunately, I think this mangrove swamp is a bust. So I'm going to have to go for a bit of a wander and see if I can find another one. Hopefully there's something not too far. I know there's a swamp here, so maybe there's another mangrove swamp that connects to that. Oh, is this another mangrove swamp? Oh my gosh, it is. There's a frog. Oh my god, oh my god. I literally just got goosebumps. Oh, there's two. We're safe. Oh, I just made a path block. Hello? Please come with me. No, stop. Hello? Oh, my new friends. I'm so happy. I was getting really worried. 
that we wouldn't be able to find any. Can't believe that they all left the other one, but I'm glad that we found another mangrove swamp not too far from our existing one. Now I just need to get these two home without dying. I think that will be fine, right? Oh no, I've lost them already, friends. Oh my gosh. Where, where did I lose them? How did I lose them? Okay, there's one. Where's your leash though? Are you even one of the ones? There's the other one. And now I'm down two leads. I guess we have to go slow. Come on. Oh, I didn't lose them. There's three. Oh, I found the other leader. Oh, where's the other frog? I'm so sorry, other frog. Ah, you're out last. Oh my gosh, I found all of them. Okay, okay, don't everybody hop away at once. One, two, three, four. All right, how do I do this? This is not looking so good. Okay, let's go. Are you stuck? Oh my goodness, that was a great jump. An amazing jump, a perfect jump even. And now you're down there. Stop, everybody stop jumping. Stop hopping, stop it. Stop hopping. We're going this way. This is fine. This is fine. <laughs> Look at them. They're having such a good time. Just me, rowing a boat with my frogs. Do, 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 do. We made it! Yes, I know I had four, but two of them decided to get into the boat, and I cannot be bothered with them right now. Two is all I need. Oh, they're croaking! Okay, with that, phase one is complete. Phase two is finding slime so that I can breed these up, get some tadpoles, and hatch the different colors. Because you know I gotta have the whole set. Okay, I've just got a few building blocks here just in case we need to build a platform for the slime to spawn on or plug some holes in the swamp. I think it can be a little bit funky trying to get them to spawn sometimes. I also read that they only spawn between uh, levels 51 and 69, I think. So that's something we'll also have to check. But I'm gonna hop in this boat and then I will see you at the swamp. Okay, I'm here at the swamp. I think the sun is slowly going down. I'm just going to fill in a little bit of the water, I guess, just to give them a bit of space. I mean, I think they'll be fine in terms of spawning, but wasn't having much luck, but maybe that was to do with the moon. I also read that they'd spawn on a full moon the most, but never on a new moon. And I don't know about you, but I'm not really across the lunar phases and cycles and things in Minecraft. So for now, I'm just gonna plug some holes and hope that this works. And now we wait. Okay, the sun has set, the moon is rising. So far, just a lot of spiders. I see one! A slime, our first slime, oh my gosh. Please no creepers, don't come for me creepers! You can stay there in the water, that's fine. Yes! Slime, please, I need your slime balls. Zombie, get away from me. Now, don't, no shooting. Thank you. Okay, I think slimes might just be my favorite uh, aggressive mob. Is that the right term? Aggressive or non-passive, I guess. They're so cute. 
No, skeleton, go away. Don't shoot my slime. Well, I guess we didn't really need this spawning platform. But, I'm a little beat up. Not too bad though, and we got 48 slime balls, which I think will be plenty. Uh, I kind of just want to have, I don't know, maybe two of each color frog for a little build, and then maybe a couple more of each color for the farm itself, the frog lights. And I think you get multiple tadpoles from breeding them, so surely that'll be enough. If not, we can always come back, but I think for now we should head home, not that way though, and start breeding our frogs. Voila! I'm back home with our two new lovely friends. I think the first thing I actually need to do is set up a bit of a water source next to them for them to lay their eggs or spawn in once we breed them. So I'm just gonna grab, maybe even make a few buckets, see what I have. Sure, 11 buckets will do. I honestly don't know how many frog spawn we get. Well, not frog spawn, tadpoles. We get from eggs. So I'm just gonna pop, I guess like this. And then, okay, who wants some slime? You and you? Are you, can you do it on leads or not? Is that an issue? Did I, I just got the, no? Did I do something wrong? Trying to lay, your eggs, okay, you did. I guess now we wait patiently. 11 minutes later. Our first spawn have hatched. We got two, okay. Yes. Bucket, bucket, oh, come here. Got him. Bucket of tadpole. Nice. Gonna breed up the frogs a little bit more just so we have enough tadpoles to work with. And then we can get to hatching them, I guess, in the different biomes to get the different colors. Perfect. One, two, Three, four. Oh, sorry. Five. Amazing. So, with this I can make six and then another six, which should be what I want. Before we hatch these guys, I figured we could give some of them some names, because I think, yeah, you can rename things in the anvil. So, let's give these guys some names. Okay. I just named a bunch of them, but I've just had an even better idea. Lily is safe. I'm going to rename the rest of these after some of my favorite Animal Crossing frog villages. I don't know why I didn't think of that before, but regardless, I've thought of it now and that's all that matters. So besides Lily, we've got Drift, Tad, Sunny, Henry, and Puddles. Okay, now we just need to hatch these guys. So I think from my research, if we put Lily and Drift in here, they will eventually hatch into orange frogs like our friends in the boat. I'm just gonna cover this up just so they can't get out while I wait for them to hatch. All right, <laughs> this is a little bit awkward, but if we put... So we'll go ahead and put Sunny, Tad, and our two others in here. And hopefully they will also grow up and not freeze over, please. Okay, I'm in a jungle. I guess that means I can pop Henry, Puddles, and the other two here, and they will hopefully grow up to be the white variation. I guess now we wait again? Eventually. <gasps> Look! They've grown up! Oh my gosh, hello, friends! Let me free you. Welcome. Okay, don't run away. Nobody running, stop. No. Enough. One, two, 
three, four. Okay, got everybody. Puddles, Henry, excellent. Okay, time to go home. Oh my gosh, two more friends. Stop, come here, Lily, and drift. Excellent. You can come over here with the other orange frogs. Oh, hello! Look! We've got the green frogs! Oh, they are so cute. Honestly, I think... Oh, we just got an advancement. When the squad hops into town. I think the green ones might just be my favorite variation. Don't tell any of the others though. Okay guys, let's head home. Ta-da, we have all three variants of frog. I'm so excited, that means we can get all the different frog lights. I think now, oh, that's interesting. How are you standing on that? I guess the next step is to create the farm in the nether, which I need to work out how to do. But I know I need powdered snow, so I'm glad I've got a bunch of buckets. So I'm going to quickly look at a tutorial and then I'll be right back. Uh, okay, so I might have gotten a little bit distracted, but let me show you what I have been up to in the nether. Basically, I don't think I'm quite prepared to make a frog light farm yet. They seem to, well at least the tutorials that I could find, seem to either need a spawner in a bastion, which I haven't raided. I do know where one is, but uh, I don't have time to raid one for this episode, and otherwise most of the others are on the nether roof, and I've never been on the nether roof before. So I was watching a video by Pixel Rifts who sort of hollowed out or flattened out a section of a basalt delta, which is kind of what I've done here. It's not very efficient, if at all efficient, at spawning slimes. <laughs> Slimes? Magmas. But what I sort of can do is wander around, try and get the attention of the magmas that are in the area, and then get them to follow me over here to this the blank flat spot that I have created. Maybe there we can tie up some frogs, I guess. I think the main reason this doesn't work is because it's not super open, and I'm sure there's lots of levels that things are spawning at down below, so it's sort of messing up the spawn rate up here unfortunately but I think that's what we're gonna do for now at some point I guess I can try and get onto the nether roof but I don't really have the confidence yet but now I think we're just going to try and bring our frogs back into this section of the nether and then we'll create some sort of manual frog light farm for now Okay, I've got six frogs. I hope this works. Alright, I think they've all gone through. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, no, don't push me. Stop! That looks like six frogs to me. Okay, I guess now all that's left is to try and find some magma and hope that these guys want to eat the babies. Oh my god. It's working, kind of. Come on. Okay, they're a bit slow, but they'll get there eventually. <laughs> Maybe they don't eat on leashes? <gasps> they did. Did I get one? <gasps> I got one. A verdant frog light. We did it! With our powers combined. We got all three frog lights. Okay, this is obviously not a very efficient farm, but I think for the purpose of today, this will, I think, do the trick. Oh my gosh, look at them go. Okay, it's a little bit out of control, but I'm sure my froggy friends will. <laughs> 
Rain them back in. Get them, frogs. Okay, that was a little bit hectic. But as you can see of my inventory, I've got a good chunk of frog lights now. So I think even though this farm is not efficient at all, not even automatic, I think it still has done a really good job. So I'm going to leave those frogs there for now. I guess in the future we can make a farm. I need to get onto the nether roof, I think. It's the main thing. But for now, I've got plenty of frog lights. It's time to go back and build a nice frog sanctuary for the rest of our little froggies. <sighs> back in the overworld. So much karma here. All right, now we need to build a home for these guys. First thing we need to do is to sort of work out what area we actually want to put our little sanctuary. I was actually thinking somewhere over here might be good. Like we have this sort of flat area down here. It could like look out onto the, the river that we have here. I could probably level it out, make it a bit flatter so that we have more space to build. And I think it'd be a nice little view for the frogs out of the sanctuary. So I'm just going to clean up this area a little bit and do a little bit of terraforming maybe just to, you know, clean it up, make it a bit bigger, a bit nicer. And then we'll get to building. Voila! We have terraform the area, flattened it out a bit. Look, I'll be the first to admit it's a little bit rough here, but it'll do the trick. And I've even sort of laid everything out so that I know that it will fit. So let's get building this structure. And with that, I think we're done with the base structure. So now it's time for details. We get to add in all the fun details inside and outside. And this is my first time tackling this sort of circular roof. So I don't think it's quite perfect, but I think it's okay. I'm not 100% sure I am obsessed with this roof. I think I need to add a little bit more along here, but that's okay. There's still plenty of time to tweak and detail. Okay, with the detail done on the outside, all that's really left to do is turn this into a little bit of a frog oasis. I've gathered a bunch of materials, hopefully this will be enough to turn it into a space that our frogs will really enjoy. So I'm going to start, I guess, digging that out. I'm not too sure how this is going to go, but I'll give it a good crack. We've got an infinite water source here which will be handy so let's go
I really think this is turning out to be one of my favorite builds so far of the series. I've finished the inside, I just think it is so magical. It is missing one thing though, and that is a spore blossom. And that is just gonna add some fantastic atmosphere. But look at this place, we've got little nooks for the frogs to swim around in. We've got plenty of different places for them to land. Lots of water to swim in and look at all this foliage. It's just stunning and I can't wait to put the frogs in. So I think we need to go get them now. Are you ready to see your new home? I think you will love it. Here you go, everyone. I think they love it. Oh look, they're playing on the drip leaf. Oh my gosh, look at them. They're having such a good time. Oh my gosh, they are so cute. This was totally worth it. Ugh, I'm obsessed. But I think there's actually one final thing that we're missing. We got this axolotl back in episode 2 or 3, I think, and they've just been sitting in their bucket. So I think it's time we set them free. I've caught a frog, so they don't feel too out of place in here. I'm hoping that frogs and axolotls get along. If not, I will regret this. They're not fighting! Look, they're friends! Oh my goodness, this is absolutely perfect. Honestly, I feel like this is one of the best things I've done. Honestly, feel like this is one of the best things I've done in this world so far. But with that, I think I'm going to call the episode here. We've achieved a lot today. We've got a whole bunch of frogs, we've got frog lights going now, and we've built this fantastic frog sanctuary. So, thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Please have a good day, be kind to yourself, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!